guys are having a great time on vacation. Now, some of your friends stopped by really early this morning while the foundation was still wet, and they actually wrote these words. Now, I doubt you'll be able to see this when you get back, so I wanted to show it to you right now. And the words say, May the God of hope fill you all with joy and peace. That is just awesome. It's kind of a cool thing. And they also, well, left you this message. Colleen, we love you so much, and we can't wait till you get back. Mom, you got it! While on the way, he's supposed to you guys are looking for your house. Can't wait to see you when you get back. No, that we're thinking about you. That's just so cool. Party. Yeah. You gotta see what Steve gave me today. <laughs> what, what, what? It is a 3D <gasps> rendering oh, of our house. That is beautiful. A lot of how we build a house in seven days is technology and Something that was really cool is that the home builders were actually able to take our design, put it in a computer, and generate a 3D rendering of exactly how the house was going to look when it was finished. That part is here. The columns yeah. on the bottom floor are already in. We just watched this wall right here fly in. It's really taking shape. I can't believe that in five days that will be right here. Imagine Colleen's face when she sees this house. Just knowing that she's got a place for her kids to come and be safe and hang out. She's going to have a lot of security. She is. And hope. That. You know, she's all about having hope. And this house gives you inspiration and hope. Being able to come home to something like this. Coming up. So I come walking up with the legend, Tony Hawk. He's a super nice guy, and he knows what we're doing for the family and why we're here. <sighs> That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. This is Paul DeMeo. You recognize that guy? Yeah. Hi, how are you? That's Matt. Matt. Brandon. Brandon. Roger. We got Logan's best buddies here. They all skate after school and right. uh, hang out. I thought maybe they could help us with our secret project. You can't tell Logan what we're doing. And Paulie and I have decided to do a little skate park in the backyard for Logan. He can't just skate around town anymore like when we were kids. These guys grind on everything. So when you do this, I mean, do you get in trouble? They'll take your board away and give you a fine. That's not good, huh? Nice kids that happen to skateboard on sidewalks and stuff and get looked at by the cops is like, oh, skate punks. And where's the closest place you can actually go and, and, and do this and not get arrested? Closest place to skate. It's a drive. It's about a half hour away. What do you say we go to the skate park? Yeah. Yeah. We need to do some research. Let's go. Took them down to a skate park and they showed us some of their favorite pieces that they thought we should incorporate into the park and watch them skate. Nice. Way to go, Brandon. So these kids really seem to love doing what they do here. And uh, if Logan is, is anything as good as Brandon, then uh, if we give them this in the backyard, they're going to love it. As long as they're wearing helmets and pads, it's one of the great individual sports for teenagers. I got you. You're good. You're good. Now you're back good. there. I did it. I'm done. I'm not too good on a skateboard, but I had Brandon kind of hold me up and uh, talk about feeling like you're 153 years old. If you guys were to pick three pieces, what three would you want? A box, box, two quarter pipes. Two quarter pipes, which make a half pipe together, right? No. They were over there talking to Paul and the press and, you know, skate talk. How's it going, fellas? Yo, Ty. So I come walking up with the legend. I brought in an expert. You did? Yeah. Who you got? Well, a guy who knows a lot about skating, especially uh, ramps. Uh, a guy by the name of Tony Hawk. You guys know this guy? Oh, oh, yeah. What's up? How are you? What's up, man? What's up? Oh. Oh. So we're gonna make a skate from his backyard or what? Yeah. Tony Hawk. He's a super nice guy and just a great dude and he knows what we're doing for the family and why we're here. We'll have the expert Tony here help us figure out how we're gonna build this thing and what's gonna be best for you guys to have a blast in your in your best friend's backyard. So let's get a plan. Yeah, what we got is a half pipe with rails, maybe a little wave action in there, a quarter pipe. Maybe on one side of the rail you have stairs, so you can either choose to ride down this side of the rail and, go, and ride down, or this side and jump down the oh, stairs. Oh, that's cool. So we split the ramp. Part of it's yeah. stairs. Yeah, yeah. So tear it up, trash it up, whatever you call it. What is it? Tear it up, Rip it up, shred it. Trash it. it. Yeah. Saw it. Saw it. Great to watch Tony skate. That park's never seen skating like that before. This is for Logan, and I'll sign up. I think Logan's going to be excited. Tony, you're awesome, man. Thanks for being involved. All right, so listen, you guys keep the secret. 
You guys, let's get busy. We got more to do. Now here in Colleen's bedroom, we have these beautiful arched windows, which are going to let all kinds of light in. What I love about this is that these windows come pre-finished, and it looks beautiful, and it gets done fast. All right, Ty sent me over to a neighbor's house. There's someone very important here I'm supposed to meet. Are you Glenn? Hi, Paige. Glenn Miller from the National Center for Missing Children. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Well, tell me what you're doing here. Well, we have Morgan's age progression displayed on the monitor. Okay. Uh, what you're seeing is the original picture that uh, I started the age progression So she from. was six years old in this picture? About six years old okay. in that picture. This is the age progression of Morgan at 12, and this is her age progression to 16. So how accurate is this? Like, if I saw a picture of this girl who is now, you know, 16, would I recognize her? I think you would. These guys are so trained and have such a good eye that they are very, very accurate and lead to, you know, hundreds of children each year being recovered. <laughs> I didn't think this would be so hard for me. Well, thank you. Thank you for everything My you pleasure. do. And if, if I could just get a picture of this, I, I want to uh, show Ty and the gang. Sure, no problem. I understand I was watching it the whole time and it didn't affect me. No mother should ever have to watch their child grow up on a computer screen. You know, I hope that this raises awareness enough that we can bring at least one child home. Coming up. Smile real pretty. Move that finger in a little bit. To have your children photographed, have them fingerprinted. These are things that are vital if an abduction takes place. We encourage every parent to have an updated picture of the child in case anything happens. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Don't go away. Our design team will be back. Oh, yes. It's looking amazing. To reveal one of the most powerful and emotional makeovers yet. Extreme Makeover Home Edition continues next, only on ABC. Okay, it's the morning of day four, and these guys have been working all night long. It looks like we're going to make it happen. Are we going to make it happen? Yeah! Let's go check out the house. We got ourselves a nice, big, open ceiling. It's like 20 feet up. We framed up the whole house. We've got it insulated. We're starting to run our lunch with people, and who knows, by the end of the night, they might just be getting a fresh coat of paint up on this thing. Can you hear me? Preston! I can't hear you. I'm in a quiet zone. So this is Logan's room, right? Yep, it is. So... He's going to be able to crank it up in here? Oh, he's going to be able oh, to yeah. crank it up. You see how this kind of floats? So all of this moves? It can vibrate? Right, so the sheet yeah, can vibrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. But nothing else will. So we're going to put this stuff on the ceiling as well. Yep, right? that looks great. And this is going to be exactly what they use in recording studios. Yeah. Very cool. This beautiful window was just installed this morning. It's made out of stained glass, and I can't believe the beautiful workmanship. And it has the message that is so meaningful to Colleen. Take a look at it. Love always hopes. Words like love always hopes really kind of sums up who she is because she's got a lot of love and she never gives up hope. When she comes into this office and sees this window, she will be very, very touched. Hey guys, what's going on? Listen, I need you to come with me. We're going to Sears. Why don't we think we get to go Just to Sears? Just come to you? Sears. I'll tell you on the way. Let's go. Come on. Michael went on his shopping trip to Sears, and he took Paul and I along with him because we had this idea that we could work with the Morgan Nick Foundation and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children on a safety event. I've got LaDonna and Joanne, and they're going to help us photograph and fingerprint all of the children from the neighborhood here in the mall. That's a great idea. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you for so coming much out. for coming. This is huge. To have your children photographed um, every six months, each child, have them fingerprinted. These are things that are vital if an abduction takes place. We encourage every parent to have an updated picture of the child in case anything happens. Uh, because that's the way that you're going to be able to get that picture out to the community mm -hmm. so that they can be found. And the very, very, very first 